fate of thousands of people who work for Qualcomm is uncertain tonight. Today, the tech giant confirmed its rival, Broadcom, has made an offer to buy it. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live in Sorrento Valley with the potential impact on local jobs here. Rachel. Kimberly, you're right. A lot of uncertainty here tonight. The Qualcomm name is all over buildings throughout Sorrento Valley. The company has provided high paying jobs to San Diegans for decades, but its future is unclear. We are announcing that we are making America home again. The CEO of Broadcom appearing with President Trump at the White House. And Broadcom is the embodiment of the legacy of innovation. Just days after Hock Tan announced he's moving his company's headquarters from Singapore to the U.S., Qualcomm confirms Broadcom has made an offer. The ball is in Qualcomm's court, so to speak. Broadcom wants to buy Qualcomm for roughly $100 billion. If they did merge, they'd now be the third largest chip maker in the world. So they'd have that kind of leverage. Financial advisor Dennis Brewster says it's too early to say how a merger could impact San Diego, but he says unfortunately layoffs are likely. There's got to be a lot of redundancies. They're both manufacturing the same thing. Both companies make chips that are used in smartphones. Roughly 13,000 employees work at Qualcomm locally, more than twice that around the world. The company has a rich history in the region. It would just be somewhat sad to see them no longer a San Diego institution. A spokeswoman with Qualcomm says that any talk of layoffs is premature and just speculation. The company says it won't have any further comment until this offer is reviewed. Reporting live in Serena Valley, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Thanks, Rachel. So what is Broadcom? It's actually considered a rival to Qualcomm, so buying out Qualcomm would eliminate a competitor. And as we've said, both companies make chips used in devices such as smartphones, laptops, and game consoles. One one of Broadcom's biggest projects was collaborating with Nintendo on the Wii U game Pad Controller. And according to tech site The Verge, the company is working on a GPS chip that's accurate within a foot.